To use GarageBand for reading fluency, I'm going to go ahead and open up GarageBand. And once you're in here, this is kind of like your main screen and if you have different recordings, this is where you would want to have a different recording for each student in your class. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap on plus. So let's say I'm the first student. I'm going to create a new song. Um, I want to make sure at the top you'll notice it says tracks. I would like to be on tracks and then you can find the audio recorder if it's not right there. Tap on that. Don't worry what it says I'm using AirPlay. I'm using that to record this. And then basically it says point your iPad towards the sound you want to record. So I'm the person that I want to record. And what I'm going to do, like let's say I needed to work on the poem Mary Had a Little Lamb as a student. I am going to tap on the metronome up here, the blue right now, tap it off. And then I am going to tap on the red button and I am going to read the poem. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now I tapped on the stop button when I was done, and I wanted a clean recording. I didn't really mention that. Um, you can do voices, obviously. You know, the kids will probably want to do that. But for what we're doing right now, it's not the fun. We're actually just recording. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to label that. So in the upper left hand corner there's some little weird symbols or looks like I don't know it's gonna go whoops I tapped on the wrong thing. Um, it's all these little boxes all those little boxes in the upper left hand corner I tapped on that. Not the first one with the three boxes but the second one. It now shows that track that we just used. I'm going to double tap on that and now I'm going to hold my finger down on it. Okay, So I can hold my finger on it and it'll turn yellow but I double tapped and that's where I would like to rename this. And like if I want to just make sure because there might be other people recording and then I'm going to do the day that I recorded this. And then I'm going to tap done. Now, the student would go ahead. Now you might want to go out here to my songs. And I probably tap on select, tap on my song. I should rename this out here as CW so that I know that that is my track and tap on done. So now what I need to do is let's say the next time I run or read my poem maybe a week or two later I've been practicing it let's see if I'm doing better on fluency. I'm going to tap my section open and my metronome is off I need to tap on the next line down here. Now, before I do that, I don't want it reading to me. So there's three little lines. You'll see I'm in the middle. I'm pulling that over. I do want to mute that first line, the box, so it mutes that. And now I don't have to worry about that. So now I can go ahead. I am going to record again, and let's see if I've done any better. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Okay, I think I did last time. So again, up in the upper left, it's one, two, three, four. There's five little boxes. I'm tapping on that. It's going to give me those lines again. If I tap on the play button, Okay. Now notice, I visually can see I have less time than the first one. Um, what I need to do is I do need to name this one. So remember, double tap, rename, 
CW, whoops, I probably want to take the other part out. And then I can do, like, let's say this was a week later. Because I've been practicing. Now, I have them both muted. If I wanted to, I could go back and listen to that first week. And I can just drag this little slider back here. So hopefully this shows you how you can do um, recordings one time, another time, and another time for different things with reading fluency and help your students to start to appreciate how far they've come and to help you celebrate how far they've come as well.